Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today I'm going to be doing a little video on making a gorgeous a Rainbow Glimmer Butterfly Mother's Day card. Now this card is a make and take class. So what that means is if you are a team member of mine or if you uh, have been a customer in March, then you will receive one of my little make and take kits free of charge in the mail. A lot of them have already gone out. There will be a few spares floating around and I will pop those in the store. So I will pop a link in the description box for those. So um, what I wanted to use was this gorgeous glimmer paper. I wanted it to feature because it's so gorgeous. You don't um, have to buy all these separate colours because it all comes in the one sheet. So you get two sheets in the pack. They're $10.50 $10 for two sheets. Um, and you get the colours Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness and Mango Melody. So absolutely fabulous. And it is sticking around. Um, it's going to be in the new catalogue when it comes out on the 4th of May. So it's something that you'll be able to use moving forward. But it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I decided to do was to use the Butterfly Brilliance dies. Uh, so this was part of the package that came out recently. Unfortunately, these papers are now sold out. I did get quite a few packs. I have used a lot of it, um, but I did use a tiny bit of this print here uh, on the card. So I will share some of that in my little make and take kits because um, you can't get it any longer. Uh, and I decided to use these beautiful intricate dies. Aren't they adorable? So this is a quite a large die set. You can see here that you get lots and lots of different dies. You get a few different um, there's little bricks there, little little uh, like a, a crisscross pattern, some splatters, lots of butterflies, and this big die here is the one that actually cuts out this complete stamp. So you get all these little separate butterflies once you've stamped it. So it's a really great set. This is also carrying over to the new catalogue, which is really good, which means it's going to be around for over a year. Um, so we'll be able to keep using it. It's uh, it's wonderful. Really, really love it. So now because these dies are quite intricate, it can be a bit tricky using a glimmer paper with them, but I think we've done okay. Um, now if you do find in your kit that you have a little bit of the paper that is stuck, because I haven't, you can see here in the kits I haven't poked out all the bits because there's so many of them. Uh, but if you do get a little bit that's stuck, um, you can just use a little cutter like this just to you know get the little tricky bits out. But hopefully they're not too bad. I did run them through twice. So hopefully you won't have any trouble with them. So I'll just pop these off to the side for the moment. Now the other thing that I used was an embossing folder. So let me get my kit out. I have gone ahead and taken out the bits from my butterflies here. So what you have in your kit is you have a piece of Whisper White, or it's now called Basic White, which will go on the inside of your card. You've got a white card base that's already been cut and scored and folded. You've got a piece of basic black which has been run through this gorgeous embossing folder. It's called Painted Texture. This is also sticking around, so it's one that you will be able to use um, moving forward. And it's it's lovely, isn't it gorgeous? It gives a beautiful, beautiful texture. I did uh, look at doing the card with just a plain black background, but it, um, it just didn't really do anything for me, so I decided that it needed a little bit of texture, so that's what we did. So I'll pop that off to the side because I've already got that done. Uh, and you have do your two little strips here of that gorgeous paper, which is no longer available. These are a quarter inch wide, so they were quite tricky to cut. Uh, but the reason I did that was I wanted to show you what you can do with your little off cuts when you're making cards yourself. Don't throw those little bits away because they can be really quite valuable and quite uh, good to use in your projects. So then you also have a little piece of Whisper White, or Basic White, I have to stop calling it that, uh, for stamping. And then you'll have three butterflies. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our little strips of our uh, designer series paper onto the first piece onto the inside of our card. And all you simply do is just pop a little bit of glue along the paper and as I said this would normally be a scrap uh, even though I have purposely cut them. Now I have um, cut this so that it is a bit 
too long for the purpose because I wanted you to be able to cut it yourself. So I like to use my grid on the back of my workspace to line up my project. So make sure I've got my piece um, straight and then all I simply do is just chop it off. Now you can measure it and do it, do it the other way but by doing it like this you know that you're going to be getting it the perfect measurement. So we're going to do that exact same thing to our piece of black for the front. So I'm just going to line that up on my mat, just like that, and then just run a little bit of glue along that there. And then I'm just going to run that along. And there we go. So we know that we've got that pretty straight. Okay, flip it over. And you can just chop it off. Now you can decide which side you have your embossing. You can see that it looks good both ways. So don't stress too much about that. That will be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of stamping on the inside of the card. Now, I decided to use my Dress to Impress stamp set. This is another one that's going to be carrying over. So I'm using this little rose here, and I'm also using the Happy Mother's Day sentiment from the front. So for now, we are just going to stamp that rose just up in the corner, just so that the uh, inside of the card doesn't look too bland. Now, I'm going to be using Melon Mambo. Um, because that's one of the bright colours that will go with the glimmer paper. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp. I'm just going to stamp that up in the corner like that. Okay, so now I can open up my card, pop the inside of the card in, and then we can just decorate the front. This is a really, really simple project but really effective. Um, the idea of these make and takes is to teach you a few skills, but also to get your hands on some of the product. And uh, I'm not sure whether or not you've seen the glimmer paper before or even to that effect used it. So uh, I wanted you to be able to experience it. Okay, so that's the inside of our card. Now, of course, you can put a sentiment on the inside if you want, but I like to leave a fair bit of gap so that I can write um, a lengthy message usually. So... Now just give that a good go with your bone folder so that it sits nice when you've got it uh, closed. We'll just open it out for a moment and we are just going to apply some glue to the back of our cardstock. Now as you all know, this is my favourite glue. Amazing stuff that it is. Okay, and there we go. Right, so what we're going to do now is apply these butterflies. Now, you can uh, put some self-adhesive on the back before you cut, but the thing is that the glimmer paper already has like a coating on the back and it's already quite thick. So um, you're going to make it a little bit more difficult to cut. You can do it, it's not, it's not a problem, but I do find uh, that my dab uh, method is a lot easier to, to do. So when we're using the dab method, we're just going to be using a sponge dauber that you can pop on your finger. And then all I do is I pop a bit of glue on the end of my sponge dauber. And then I just sponge the item that I want to glue. So it's very, very simple to do. Okay. And then that way you don't get lots of big bits. Now I'm going to pop my large butterfly down first because it's the one that's going to take up the most space. And I'm going to pop it towards the centre of my card. And so then we can get a bit more glue. You don't need very much, just a teeny tiny bit. Now this silicon mat that I'm using on the background is amazing. It's 
something that will protect your surface. The glue will wipe straight off with a baby wipe. Not a problem. Uh, so perfect to use for this method. And so this butterfly I'm going to pop here just on an angle. There we go. And then we have our final one. Now this glue, if you go and rinse out your sponge dauber, um, it won't go hard, it'll be fine. And I have to admit I've been quite lazy at times and left it and just used it again and it's been fine as well. So don't stress about it. And these are quite inexpensive. You can just use another one once you wear that one out. Okay, so we're just gonna scatter those butterflies across the front of your card. So that's pretty, pretty much it. Okay, so that just leaves uh, to do the sentiment now. So we're just going to do the little sentiment that's gonna go in the center of the card around about here. So my piece measures, I don't know, where's my, can't find my ruler. Uh, I can do it in centimetres and convert it. So it's seven centimetres, just under seven and a half centimetres. So around three inches, just a tick under three inches. Um, and it's probably half an inch in width. So I'm going to use the same coloured ink as the front. So we've got our Happy Mother's Day stamp. And I'm just going to pop it on there like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So I'm just going to turn that over. I'm going to pop a few dimensionals on there. to uh, try and get this straight. It's very difficult to get anything straight when you are doing this on camera. I know I've told you this many times, but it is very true. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to pop a couple of bits of bling on there. You don't have any bling in your kit, uh, but you can use whatever you have. That's fine. So I'm just going to pop one up there. one down there and there you go there is your rainbow glimmer mother's day card featuring the gorgeous butterflies so it's super super easy i hope that if you've got one of my kits that you've enjoyed putting this one together um and that you uh you know sort of give um the glimmer paper a go because it, it is absolutely gorgeous and as i said you don't have to go and buy all the different colors you get them all in the one pack so it's fantastic value that's it from me today. I'll be talking to you really soon. Bye for now.